Shalom, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rikar Kodash. Give double honors to apostles of Great Millstone who ruled well over us. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, week in and week out risking their lives and shalom to you beautiful brothers and sisters fearing and trusting and believing in Yahweh Basham Yahushai glory be to our highest power and bless you brothers and sisters for the um at evening yeah Sabbath at evening so May Yahweh Basham Yahushai be with you at evening, before the evening, at evening and after the evening, yeah? What I want to talk about quickly is um is the word meekness. Do not confuse that word with meekness, with weakness. Alright? Do not confuse that word. Just because you're meek, it does not mean that you're weak. Yeah? Because to be meek, you have to be strong. Yeah? To humble yourself, that takes strength. That takes suffering. That takes endurance. Yeah? So do not mistake that word of being meek as a, as a weakling. Yeah? Actually, a weak man is a strong man. Being in this truth, serving Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you have to serve our power with all meekness. Yeah? And that is where the strength is going to come. All right. So do not take that word for for do not take that word simple. Yeah, meekness. All right. So let me start off with. I'm going to make this quick, just as as a quick thought. Yeah. Let me start with um, Colossians. Colossians chapter 3, right? Colossians chapter 3. No, Salakia. Colossians, no, hold on. Yes, Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah? Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. That is very, a very important part to play as a man foreign. Yahweh Basham Yahshai is to be meek, right? Because it does say, you know, that the meek should inherit the earth, right? So let me go to Matthews. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Right? We are mourning at the moment. Yeah? We are poor in spirit. But it's something to be grateful for because the most I put us in that, in that situation. Yeah? The Lord puts us down to bring us back up again. Yeah, 
So no matter how strong you are, the most I will put that, take that strength off you, put you down low, yeah? Make you feel weak. Mentally, spiritually, physically, to build you back up again. It does not mean that you're a, you're a, you're a weak person. Yeah? Because he wants to build our strength. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Very, very key point. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Right? That's all we just want now is to be righteous. But we can't be righteous in these filthy rags. We cannot be righteous. That's why we need Yahweh Shai to come back. But you have to be strong. But how do you be strong? You have to be meek. So you have to be meek if you want to inherit the earth. Yeah? Which is about to come. Blessed are the merciful. All right? For they shall obtain mercy. You see, all that is a form of meekness, to be merciful. But you have to have the strength to be merciful. All right? Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see Yahweh. They shall see Yahweh. Blessed are the pure. But if you're going to inherit the earth, you need to be meek. And if you're meek, you'll gain strength in order and you'll get that pure heart, pure mind. And through that strength, you will, <laughs> you will see our power, our greatest power. But you have to be meek. You have to be humble. Not anybody can pick up himself and be humble. Not anybody can pick up himself and be meek. You have to be strong to be meek. You have to be strong to be humble. You have to be strong to be merciful. But where does that stem from? Where is the source? The source is being meek. Because that's all we want. Is to, we all want to inherit that earth. The new earth. That new kingdom to come. So it's not about our physical strength. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of Yahweh. To be a peacemaker. Do you know how strong that you need to be as a peacemaker? It's easy to be a troublemaker. But to be a peacemaker. To be peace with one another. To be loving towards one another. To be meek with one another. Blessed are they that, says again, blessed are they which are persecuted for the righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. To be persecuted, you have to be meek. You have to be meek in order to be persecuted. And that meekness gives you strength. Blessed are they that which per persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You see where it's going? Blessed are ye when men shall revile you 
and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. You have to be meek in order to, to overcome that persecution which is coming. Here on this earth it's coming. Persecution. Verse 12. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And the prophets that was which were from before are here now today. The sincere prophets of the Lord are here today. Because within those prophets, you're going to have meek prophets. And those meek prophets are really strong prophets. All right? And they are going to rejoice one day very soon. Lord willing, very, very soon. All right? So do not think that being meek is a soft man. Yeah? A weak man. Because being meek is actually being strong. That is the real man. A humble man is a real man. I will never forget that Yahweh Shai washed the disciples' feet. Now he was a powerful, great, whatever man you want to call Yahweh Shai. He was a great, powerful man. Strong man. But in all meekness, in humbleness, he washed the disciples' feet. Now, that is an example we must follow. Because look who's ruling the earth now. Who's ruling this earth now? Yeah? They are strong at the moment, but they're not meek. And soon to come, <laughs> they're going to be put down you know why because they weren't meek they weren't humble and they will not inherit the earth they put us down and it's going to turn right around very soon tables are going to turn And we are going to look down at them. We're going to put them down. Because as it says, the meat will inherit the earth. Right? One more scripture. Matthew 24. Matthew 24, verse Verse 13, right, and it says, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You, in order to endure, you have to be meek. We want to be saved to get into the kingdom, we want to inherit that kingdom which is to come. But he that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Now, when you look at that word endured, right? Uh, just a second. When you look at that word endure, endure. Let me play it. Strong's G, 5278. Upameno. Upameno. Well, I'm not going to try attempt to um, 
say that, right? Right, so it says here to remain, to tarry behind, to remain, i.e., abide, not recede or flee. You need to be strength, you need to be strong to do all this, isn't it? To persevere under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to one's faith. In Yahushai HaMashiach, be to endure, bear bravely and calmly ill treatments. Now, all that now you might think in the word you say, a worldly way of thinking of it is, man, you have to be a strong man to, to endure all that. Yeah? To preserve, no, so like here, to persevere. When you're going to persevere, you need that strength to persevere. When you're running a race, all you want to do is to get to the end. But you need to persevere. To finish that race, you need to persevere. That is the strength. You need that strength. But you need to be meek. You need to be humble. You need to train every single day. Why is everybody in their bed sleeping? You hear boxes getting up at four in the morning, three in the morning. Why is people still having their little dreams? And they're sweating, they're not eating, they're, they're fasting, they're... They're just doing everything. Their regime is so tight. They're being meek. Long-suffering. In order to inherit that win. And our win is to get into the kingdom of heaven. So it's all about the, the perseverance. To persevere under misfortunes and trials. What we're going through is trials and tribulations. But in order to be strong, you have to be meek. The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai has put us down to a low estate in order to build us back up again, stronger. But we have to be meek. We have to be humble. So do not take it as, oh, this guy is so weak and no, he's being humble. Because humbleness will get you into the kingdom. Yeah, as it said according to the scriptures. Yes? You will inherit the earth. All right? So that's all I want to talk about. That keep on praying for strength which is actually the meekness yeah keep on praying for humbleness and we hope and pray that we will be favored in that day because the chariots are coming soon to pick us up lord willing if we are chosen the chariots are coming soon To come and pick us up. Lord willing. So keep strong. Keep humble. Keep strong. Keep meek. If you need. To inherit the earth. Which is promised unto us. Yeah. Praise be to Yahweh Shami Shai. And peace and blessings as always. Yep. Yeah? Shalom. Shalom.